Push go. Okay, welcome to week two. We're going to be going over our uh, chapter one, Principles of Flight, in our science, science of Flight. Guys, please open it up there. We, uh, we started the last week. Principles of Flight. We're actually going to be going over principles and physics of flight, uh, chapter one, all the way through what makes up aircraft, as well as our innovation in the future of aircraft. Uh, we went over this the other day. The main thing is some of the terminology we're going to be learning. We have a vocabulary test, essentially, at the end of this uh, chapter, as well as learning some of the very basics of the physics of flight, including Bernoulli and why the Wright brothers did their thing. We talked about actually Chuck Yeager. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to give you 20 seconds and you're going to talk at your table with your face pairs. You guys may come across face pairs about what who Chuck Yeager was and what did he do. 20 seconds starting now. Chuck Yeager was a pilot. was a mechanic though. He was a mechanic and he grew up in that is for me. He was a mechanic and ended up being an engineer, yeah, and ended up being a pilot in the Army Air Corps. We keep an ace in a day. Three, two, one. Okay, from the back. From the back. Uh, let's go table six. Tell me, uh, tell me something about Jaeger, number one. He was the first person to break the speed of sound. First person breaks the sound. Great. What else did he do? What kind of training did he do to break the speed of sound? Uh, he was a test pilot in the Air Force. There you go. In the Air Force. Gee, he was in the Air Force. Why was he in the Army Air Corps? Because the Air Force was just created. I mean, within 30 days prior to him breaking the speed of sound, it was an uh, act of Congress in September. Of 47, and he broke the speed limit in October 47. So it was very lucky, and the Air Force loves him because of that. <laughs> the Army does not love him <laughs> because he was not part of the Army. All right, uh, what other, another table. What, what other kind of background do you have to help him? Yes, can he I was help an him? ace in a day. He was an ace in a day. Five enemy planes shot down in one day. And you know what? I'm not really sure how many people have done that. Not many. Pretty rare. But yes, he was a demonstrated, demonstrated fighter pilot from World War II. Yes, ma'am. He investigated the um, Challenger crash? He investigated, yes, he actually was part of that team as a retiree. Exactly, exactly. All right, so uh, Chuck Yeager is a very accomplished uh, person and really is a great uh, example of what has happened in aviation. Here uh, we talked about the, the theory of flight and some of the original things we talked about actually about uh, balloons and why hot air rises. First man glider flights, uh, propeller uh, driven planes. What is really amazing to me, uh, if you think about the history of mankind, the fact that we started flying in the early 1900s, and when I was, when I was 10 years old, 10 years old, maybe you have some, uh, can you all remember when you were 10 years old? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was 10 years old, we actually walked on the moon. And so if you think about it, in less than 70 years, we went from not even understanding this new, new science to walking on the moon. It's kind of crazy. It, yes, sir. Wasn't the Wright, I believe the Wright brothers were alive like 10 years is the same time that Neil Armstrong was alive. Like, I'm not sure. That's, that's I'm not like, sure when they died when Neil Armstrong was born. Or, no, land, the, one, yeah, the one that was landed on the moon. That was Neil Armstrong. Yeah, they were first alive one. for the same period. That's, that's kind of crazy to think about what they've been through. Okay, on uh, last week we went over some of the basic terms we need to know. This is right there on your, uh, your book on page, bottom of page 7. We talked about the cord in the camber. When I talk about the camber of an airfoil, what does that mean? Pat Simpson, what does camber of airfoil mean? The curve of an airfoil is camber. There you go. So if you like I said, look here and behind me. The, the curve of how much is airfoil is, is actually curved is your camber. What about a cord line? We never find that anywhere else. What does a cord line mean, Cadet Malik? A cord line that is uh, 
And therefore, you so distance between two points is the coordinate. It's a straight line between the most, foremost, and hindmost points. There you go. Just like the picture behind my head, it's a straight line. It's not curved. Camber's curved. Cord is straight. Okay. When you first asked me, I'll find it and I'll get it. Gotcha. You're on top of it. I'll <laughs> poke you up. Excuse me. All right. So anyway, this is kind of basic airfoil description uh, that, ha that has it. Here is one of the innovations uh, that I want you to be realize is in when you take an airfoil, uh, the Wright brothers actually put this in a wind tunnel. Okay. I actually just emailed Emmy Riddle this morning. I'm hoping to take you guys to Emory Riddle Aeronautical University, that includes my hybrid students, and show you a real wind tunnel. But you can see by the picture there on the bottom of page uh, eight, or behind me here, that a wind tunnel is where you test stuff. You essentially put a big fan in a closed environment, and then you put airfoils in there and see how the airfoils react with the different camber and the different cord and actually something else we talk about the actual angle of attack and relative wind and so there's a lot of experimenting the uh, miracle of the Wright brothers which I want you to see on page 9 if you pull up your uh, book on page 9 and I have it displayed right here why did the Wright brothers succeed when everybody else failed Anybody have any suggestions of why the Wright brothers were the first to fly? Can I hallucinate? They researched how things fly. Researched how things fly. They did their research. Here's something that's crazy for us to realize, but I want you all to know. In 1900, <laughs> how about today? Today, who are the, who's the most technologically advanced people today? We are. America? No, I mean, who, what job? Oh, like Boeing. Boeing. Doing what? Building my design. New what? Airplanes. Engineers, computer technicians, Apple, Apple employees, Google employees, online, internet. That's the leading technology of today. What was the leading technology of 1900? A stick. A stick? What? No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> what was the leading technology in 1900? Bicycles. Bicycles. And bicycles evolved into... Airplane. automobiles oh. and so just think about this these Wright brothers in Columbus Ohio were the coolest most advanced engineers of their day they built bikes that's kind of crazy yeah, they, invent them, right? they did not invent bikes but they invented self propelled airplanes they took those skills that they had and just on page 9 they not only researched how things flew they tested their ideas they developed their skills, they developed technology, and they used wind tunnels to do so. Uh, the miracle of flight came from these guys right here that we have pictured on the uh, overhead, Wilbur and Orville. They ended up having the, uh, matter of fact, we have the picture there behind, uh, behind table at four over there. Uh, that was the picture that's right here of the actual first flight, okay? Uh, the first flight being out in North Carolina where they had steady winds, but it was a glider that had a real engine. How heavy were engines in 1900? Yeah. Real heavy, they were made of cast iron steel. You had to craft them, you had to carve them out of blocks of steel. I mean, carve them out, and they were very, very heavy. The original cars were heavy. They were heavier than bikes, and so they created a brand new technology of a lighter engine that could actually go in a plane and work with their other discoveries in airfoils and camber and coil uh, cords, which they had tested in the wind tunnels, and they created the first flight. No one had done this. Everybody had done parts and pieces, Everybody had tried to be a, a glider and, and flap and fly. Flapping and flying with birds is not what makes them fly. Their camber and their coil and their 
core, excuse me, <laughs> and their angle of attack and their relative wind of how their airfoil is, that's what makes them fly. That's what produces them lift. That is what the Wright brothers, look at this, that wind tunnel. I'm not sure if they invented a wind tunnel, but they certainly used one. There it is right there. They took small airfoils they made out of balsa wood and put them in there and did research and said, hey, what kind of curve will produce the most lift? And then they made that larger and put it on their actual planes. That is the miracle of the Wright brothers. That is why they did stuff that other people failed many, many years prior. And intrinsic to that was his research on wind tunnels. Like I said, chapter 8 and chapter 9. Do we use wind tunnels today with all the computers? Yes. Yes. You better believe we use wind tunnels every day, all the time. Aeronautical University, Boeing, uh, maybe computer simulations, but of course we do use wind tunnels all the time. And actually, do you see how big these wind tunnels can be? I mean, big enough for you to walk inside. Okay. These are wind tunnels uh, in different labs. I think some of the main ones are in Florida. But you put all, uh, literally you know, half size, half size mock-ups of UAVs or planes or airfoils to see if they produce the lift. And these wind tunnels can get supersonic. You can get supersonic. You put, look, that's a, that's a simulation of a full airliner in there. It's pretty cool. That's what aeronautical engineers do. Emory Riddle Aeronautical University right near here is the one of the leading aeronautical engineering schools in the nation. And I hope to take you there and uh, do some, do some touring of it. Right? Excuse me? They have a way. They do. It's pretty impressive. It's a lot of fun. They, that's, part, that's what you do as a student there is you create your own plane, your own, your own uh, wind, fo wind tunnel, and put in your airfoil in there and see what kind of lift comes from it. That's actually really cool. That would be pretty fun, huh? All right, so in the research that the, the Wright brothers did, we'll see how many, how many different wing shapes did they test in the tunnel before they succeeded? <laughs> yes, sir. Over 200. Sir. Over 200. Has anybody ever heard of a man named Thomas Edison? No. No? What did he do? Made a light bulb. Lights. Okay. Did he get it right the first time? <laughs> I don't know what the number is. I think it's 1,900. He had 900 failures before he finally got the little bitty, I think tungsten, right? Little bitty piece of, of filament between electrical charges that would glow and would burn up. And you could turn it on tomorrow and it would glow and it wouldn't burn up. I mean, he had more. He's the one that said that, that uh, genius is, what, 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Damn. So what if, the, what if the Wright brothers had given up? We have no plan. When you sit there and tell me as a student, sir, I can't get algebra, it's too hard. <laughs> Think about it, guys. Everything great and these huge discoveries were made by people having persistence. And these Wright brothers, like I said, tested everything in the tunnels before they actually did it. Okay, page 10. Who was Sir Isaac Newton? Mm. Changed the world. He changed the world. Yes, sir. The one who figured out what gravity was. Gravity, yes. And he also has three laws of motion. Basic physics, which you probably have been exposed to. And we're going to go into a little more detail and tell you how they relate to aeronautical flight. This is the first law of motion. One thing I'm going to remind you is that if you're a scientist and you discover stuff, many times you do not even know what you're discovering. So here's Isaac Newton, picture of him in 1650, 1660. When did we start to fly? 1900, 1650, 250 years later, we use this guy's idea to create a new science that walks and makes us walk on the moon. He didn't even know what happened. So when you sit there and go, gee, why are we studying right now? We have, uh, I have one of my nieces actually studying galaxies. 
Why do we need to study galaxies? Why do we need to study black, black, dark energy and dark matter? Why? Well, you know what? 250 years later, you may discover something that changes the world. If he did not do this, and oh, by the way, there's another guy named Bernoulli we'll go over. If they didn't come up with these ideas, we wouldn't be flying. The Wright brothers couldn't have put it all together. And that's what pure science does for us. Okay, first law of motion. Uh, Cadet Lovell, read to me the per first law of motion, please. Read to me the first law of motion. Um, you mean the, the body of motions? There oh. you go. A bo uh, Newton's first law of motion states that a body in motion tends to stay in motion in a straight line, and a body at rest tends to stay at rest. Do you want me to read the whole thing? Unless an outside force causes it to stop. How does this relate to flying planes? Yes, sir. And if there's a gust of wind that would stall the plane, if other than that, it would keep going? I'm telling you, that's exactly right. If you throw a ball out in space, it will go forever until it's affected by gravity, right? Same thing here on Earth. If we didn't have any gravity, we'd just be floating around, OK? We would go in a straight line until you're affected by something else called gravity. Second law of motion. Cadet Faison, what does that mean? Second law of motion. According to this law, an object's acceleration is proportional to the sum of all forces exerted on it. Force equals mass times acceleration. Can on this picture here, uh, can, a, can a person pull a, push a car very easily? No, not with gravity, not with resistance, not with the weight, not with the mass. But if we want to send somebody to the moon, that's a good question. If we want to send somebody to the moon, how big do the, does the rocket motor have to be? Bigger than a bus. I'm telling you, no, no, we're talking big as this room. You can walk, you can put, what, 37 people inside the engine exhaust of the rocket motor to go to the moon? If none of you have been to, uh, I'll show you. How big does a rocket motor have to be to go to the moon? No, bigger than this room, sir. <laughs> Has anybody been to, uh, let's call it a Saturn V, Saturn V rocket? Has anybody ever been to Florida and seen these rocket motors? That's okay. pretty big. We're talking huge, okay? We're talking uh, bigger, much bigger than a football field. Much bigger. Here there, brother. And uh, there's three motors on the bottom. I was trying to see here at Cape Canaveral. There's actually one laying down. There we go. And, uh, and those are huge, excuse me, five rocket motors to send something to the moon. So you have to, if you're going to send a big thing, you have to have <coughs> big rockets, okay? Force equal mass times acceleration. That's Newton's second law. How about Newton's third law? What is that? Jet propulsion. Maybe. Newton's third law. Someone. Um, Newton's third law. Reaction, exactly. If you push on something, something else is going to be pushing away from it. How come you can't, when you push against the wall, what is it pushing against you? Excuse me? The wall is pushing it. You've got to believe it, right? Until you have too much of a push and the wall falls down. How does that relate to flying, guys? How does the third law of motion relate to flying? Yes, sir. Um, like in jet engines, it pushes air out really fast, so the air pushes it forward. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one minute to talk to your face partners about the one, two, and third law and, law and how does it relate to flight. I like the first And starting now, how does it relate to flight? Carriers and jet I think he's talking about Osprey. That's a fair hit. No, what do you think was an Osprey? No. Yes, we get helicopter.
Well, no, I like Newton's first song because it says that, like that football thing, to throw a football, he's going to keep on going until the rat is back. Because there's time to get him. So you shot a bullet and it's a pass. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a bullet and it's a bullet. Or you shot a b
That's so simple. Is it simple or not? How did he figure that out? He did experiments. He's smart. And he figured this out in 1750, 150 years prior to the Wright brothers. He faster fluids is lower pressure. That is the bottom line. They have the pictures there. Uh, actually, I can project this for you. They have the pictures here on the uh, page there, page 12. Uh, faster fluids is lower pressure. And so he discovered this, and I'm sure his mama was going, so what? I don't care about that. Why are you doing it? Who cares that the fluids go faster? And why in the world do I care about that? And oh, by the way, he changed the world. We would not be flying. We would not be walking on the moon unless we had Bernoulli's principle. So back to my diagram here. When we sit there and hear about, <laughs> when you're a kid and you look at a bird, a hummingbird, and he's flapping his wings, or a, a uh, I like finches, actually. I feed finches in my, my backyard uh, here at the ROTC. The birds are flying. Does flapping your wings make you fly? No. What are the flapping the wings doing for you? Helping you hover. Well, what are they doing for you? Hiding layers. Giving you lift? No. Flapping wings. Well, if I want to jump off of here and fly, do I flap my wings? You'll Does that make me fly? Wait, if they don't need, <laughs> sir, if they don't need wings, then... Do you know a lot of people die doing that, right? They jump off of barns and flap their wings, they boop, <laughs> dead. <laughs> a lot of people died jumping off of barns and thinking that that was the way to go. Uh, but what happened was that the Wright brothers figured out that the actual miracle of flight was because of the curvature of the airfoil relative to Bernoulli's principle. So when you have a lot of fluid, which is also air, acts the same way, and it hits an airfoil, look, we have a lot longer space to go over here than going underneath here. And they meet over here at the same time. And if they meet at the same time, the air going over the airfoil has to go faster. I get that. And if it goes faster, <coughs> what happens to the pressure? It's lower. Lower. And so we have low pressure here, and we have high pressure here, which equals flight. That is the miracle of flight. And has anybody here, this is a dumb question, has anybody here ever been to the beach? A lot of Arizona people have not been to the beach. If you go to the beach, there is a fabulous bird called a pelican. Oh, I love this oh, guy. Okay. Pelicans are mean. Oh, yeah, you'll see it sometime at the beach. The pelicans flap, 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 flap. And you're going, huh, they're flying? And then they stop flapping, and they just hang. And they glide. And they actually go down very low, and they glide for like 20 seconds. I've timed 20 or 25 seconds. And they're flying, but they're not flapping. How are they flying if they're not flapping? Yes, sir. Water. They're gliding, and they have low pressure on top, high pressure on bottom. So actually, there's a song that uh, my cadets love me to sing. We talk about, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> and I laugh because you know what? The miracle of flight is not the wind beneath your wings. The miracle is the low pressure above that gives you the, you're being sucked up when you actually fly. You're not being pushed up. So the miracle is actually the sucking <laughs> up of flight. This is why you fly. This is what the Wright brothers finally figured out using Bernoulli's equations, using all these failures. They had failures with all the airfoils, and then they put it together with their new technology. We're going to stop right here, and tomorrow we're going to connect, we'll continue with relative wind, angle of attack, and uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that, please?